Hey guys, hey guys, good morning, good morning. It's Jackie from Island Girl Tarot. It's time for our coffee and our tarot and runes and whatever else wants to come up today. So cheers everybody, good morning, good morning. I hope you're having a great day, great day so far. It's about eight o'clock or something like that. So come on in, let me go ahead and get my Palo Santo started and let's clear and cleanse our space. Any and all things between me and you. Any and all things from yesterday that need to be brought forward to be released, to be healed, to be cleansed. Go ahead and allow that to be bathed in love and light and compassion and forgiveness. Allowing everything that's not for our highest and best to go and just go back to the light. Really, anything that's not for our highest and best, let it be transmuted back into light energy. Send it down to Earth, to Gaia. She can transmute it and she can use it as fertilizer for our dreams. <laughs> as long as we let it go. Any and all resistance, di disappointment, trauma, drama, energy, any kind of heavy thought processes that have been draining our energy, just let those things go. And take a nice deep breath and be here now. Be here now in the moment. Try not to worry. And let's see what today has for us. Let's see what today's magic wants to bless us with. So, right on. So let's start with the runes. Let's start with our little purple magic bag. And let's see what wants to come through today. So I hope you're doing great. And remember, this is a collective reading, okay? There's no way that uh, I can read personal energies from this. It's a collective read. So it may touch your story, but it may not be exact. So please, please, please don't ever, uh, don't ever take anything that any reader says as just purely your story, if it's a collective reading. They have to actually connect to you to do a personal reading. So please don't, don't try to make something fit that does not apply, all right? That's really important for anybody, for not only my readings, but all readings. All right, let's see what we got. We have three runes this morning. Let's see. Let's just put them on the table. Oh, check it out. The destiny. Destiny rune is first. Okay, this is what we got. Destiny. It's free choice. It's destiny. Like, that just really, there's no, there's nothing on it. So that means that it's really destiny. So everything that is in alignment with your higher purpose will always happen. So as long as you can continue to trust, as long as you can continue to trust that universe spirit has your back and really trust the process, you, you, this is knowing that destiny is at work. There's something going on on your behalf, behind the scenes that you don't even know about. So try not to worry. If things appear like they're not working out the way you want, just relax. Really take a breath because things are going on behind the scenes that you don't know. Destiny, creator, spirit always has the best in mind for you. Always. We can trust that. Okay, so look. The next one right here, can you see that, is called Manaz. Manaz Actually, though, unfortunately, this is in the reverse. But if it were in the upright, it would talk about the human race, social order, awareness. But right now, it's talking about depression, slyness, mortality, and manipulation. Manipulation, mortality, slyness. Mm, okay, so. And then the next one, let's, before we interpret that, the next one is X gifts and personal relationships oh interesting okay so you know what i'm getting right off the bat destiny is at work and this is specifically about relationships because first of all this is mercury retrograde so you may be um you may be having contact with people that you haven't thought about in a long time family former partners friends, just high school sweetheart, whatever. Um, and so it might be that there is something that needs to be resolved in those relationships so you can truly move forward. Because every, and I said this a few days ago, actually, every relationship has a gift for you. Every relationship that we are connected to 
I don't want to say the ones that are just passerbys on the street, but maybe they even have a purpose in your life, depending on the interaction. But people that you really are in connection with somehow, they all have a gift for you. They all have a purpose to be in your life. And these purposes, these reasons, were to either work out lessons or to work out scenarios in you to bring you closer to divine love and light and to, to bring out the parts of you that still are uh, maybe on guard, that want to learn more about love or forgiveness or something like that. So there seems to be this theme during Mercury retrograde, themes from the past will come back. Communication, things need to be resolved. And it's not only bad, it's like things that are brought to light. They oftentimes need to be resolved or looked at again for clarity. It's not only relationships, it could also be things, communication that was missed, that was resolved. So be careful about communicating. A lot of people say this, uh, that things can be misinterpreted during Mercury retrograde. So be cautious, be extra cautious about how you say things or how you read things. You might actually miss the fine print about something. So that's also coming through right now in this 10 seconds. So if you are experiencing something that makes you feel like you are, uh, like again, depressed, manipulated, mortality, this is also about facing our own mortality. Everything has to come to an end. I mean, really, we're in a body for a short second, really. So it seems to be like there's an invitation for us to see everything as a gift and not to get hung up in our heads too much about it. And also because realize everything is a gift and everything is fleeting. Life is fleeting. Every moment in time is fleeting. Even though it can impact us a long time, if we allow it to, it can keep us depressed or, in, you know, it can really throw us off our game or derail us for a long time if we choose to linger on that moment. But it seems like if we can release that moment of heartache, depression, disfortune or misfortune or whatever happened in the past, if we can release the pain and trauma of whatever happened in the past and ask, okay, this happened and it sucked. It hurt me so badly. If we can really ask, what is the gift in that? What was I supposed to learn? How was I supposed to grow? And this, without putting any pressure on it, just allowing it to bubble up and then release it. Release it, release it. Keeping the lesson, the gift, keeping the beautiful moments. Even the, even the pain can be beautiful because Gosh, I don't know why there's this, there's this emotion welling up, but even the pain of sorrow can really be a gift because it can show you how much you loved or how much, how much depth you have to your love, to your emotion. And that itself, that in itself is a gift that you can have an emotional depth to you that you feel deeply. Not everybody can actually feel deeply. Some people are very shallow. They have no emotional capacity to feel the depths that some of you do. Like, like myself, I have a, a deep emotional well. I go deep. I go deeply low and I can go deeply high. So maybe that's part of my life lesson is to not go so low in my depth. Not, not to be shallow, but to not let the deeper lows impact me so so deeply where they can derail me. So maybe that's part of your life lesson as well, to balance out your emotional depth and also to take the lessons of what didn't turn out and see the gifts. Don't dwell on what hurt you, but start asking more about what was the lesson in that? What was the gift in that? What was the gift in that so I can grow and I can let go of the pain? This is an important lesson to learn. If you haven't, please, I encourage you to start cultivating that gift of letting go of the pain and sorrow and grief and asking for the lesson and the gift in it. And also with that said, know that destiny is at work. Destiny is at work. So it also feels like whatever caused you 
unrest, distress, lack of peace, chaos, misfortune, whatever in the past, destiny is at work. And destiny has a beautiful way of making things right. And it may come through a different person or a different avenue, okay? So try not to get hung up. Again, another reason. Don't get hung up on the past or the person or the situation. Because destiny, the wheel of fortune is what's coming to mind now. The wheel of fortune always makes things right. It's the karma wheel. What happened in the past that hurt you, um, if it was an injustice, it will be made right. You can trust that. And that's where I believe the destiny rune comes through. You can trust the process that if something was unjust in the past, it's going to be made right. But don't look for it from that person or place or situation or business or even the taxes. That's what I just heard or your tax refund. I'm being facetious, but I'm still waiting on my tax refund from two years ago whatever you know but I can trust the process I did my due diligence I've contacted people you know you do your due diligence and then you trust the process that's all you can do trust the process because the universe spirit has your back and the karmic wheel is working on your behalf that's what the destiny rune is about destiny destiny will have your back so you don't need to worry. Just trust the process, learn the lesson, see the gift and what happened, and release it, surrender it. Surrender it, because it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you to keep hanging on to something that hurt you. Really, it doesn't. So now, let's see what the cards wanna say. Let's see what the cards wanna say. Spirit, that wants to pop right away. Oh, King of Cups, or excuse me, King of Fire reversed. So there's someone that's not He's not being very nice. The king of fire reversed. He can also be a player. He can also be very uh, abusive, uh, kind of a manipulative type of person. Oh, that's interesting because the manipulation room came out. So if you feel like you're being manipulated or were in the past manipulated by a fire sign or someone that was very controlling, dominating, they had to have it their way, well, you can trust that that's, that's going to be taken care of. Like I said, d destiny, the universe, they take care of things that were not in integrity. You don't have to even worry about it. You just let it go. You surrender it. And you can trust that the universe will take care of you. And the world card. So there's a cycle complete with a king of fire. There's a cycle complete with this person who is unruly, is what I just heard. Unruly, very uh, dominating, controlling, abusive. I'm sorry, that always hurts my heart, but that cycle's complete, so really, let it go. And you're going to be hearing something from someone who's also been very depressed about something. They have been wanting to come out of depression, or they're feeling guilty. Uh, they're wanting to come out of this energy, but it feels like, it really does feel like they need to speak to you to make things right. They need to speak to you. They might need to have some sort of a confession. Like a confession game they need to pour out their soul and tell you the whole truth nothing but the truth and really get it off their chest is what I heard hmm. they need to get something off their chest they might have had a lot of options in the past that they didn't want to tell you about or a lot of distractions it doesn't have to only be options like other people it could be work could be family, could be who knows what, business, but there was a lot of distractions, delusions, there was a lot of vapor is what I want to say. The, these are all cups in the sky, pie in the sky kind of things, options, delusions, confusion. There was a lot of confusion in the past and this person wants to come out of depression because they've been feeling bad about something. This person, maybe they really, really, really do feel bad about how they treated you. So they're going to come through with, they want to get things right with you. And the two of rods re reversed. There's not going to be any type of action, though, I don't feel. They want to. I don't know. This is really weird. 
because there's a part of them that wants to just really rush forward. The Knight of Swords is very fast moving energy. They can be very rude and abrupt actually, so be careful of that. It might come out of nowhere and you're like, what? But they wanna to talk to you. This person definitely wants to talk to you. And it could also be because they notice that you're not there anymore. Because you're not, you're not choosing them. Oh, Six of Cups reversed. It, it could be somebody that's really stuck in the past. Or maybe you're stuck in the past still. But I think they are really feeling stuck because of the way they treated you. That's what it feels like right now. Okay, so Spirit, what can we know about today? What else do we need to know that would be helpful for the collective? Oh, they're coming in very uh, passive. They're having a hard time. They're not, they're not confident in doing this. That's why they have two sides of them. They want to come in hard and fast, but then they don't. They're stuck in the past. They're afraid. They are afraid to contact you because of how it went down in the past. This is like day three of the same message. Wow. I mean, of certain elements of the same message is coming through. There's somebody wanting to contact you, the collective, because they are very upset about how things went down in the past. So this is Mercury retrograde. They want to make things right, but they're afraid. They are afraid of how you might view them, that you won't even accept their apology. You won't even pick up the phone. Or you maybe have also blocked them. They, they can't even get through if they wanted to because you've blocked them because they were just, yeah, they just hurt you. Or this could be vice versa. So let's see. What is the advice? Please, Spirit, what's the advice? What is the advice? Or what else do we need to know? The advice or outcome, please, Spirit? The advice or outcome? Somebody is trying to feel better because they, are, they have been up in their head. They can't sleep. Wow, this poor person. Or maybe it's you, but I don't feel like it's the collective energy. I think this is somebody coming towards you. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, Spirit? It's kind of quiet now. Spirit, what else do we need to know? Or what's the outcome or the advice, please? What's the outcome or the advice, please, Spirit? What's the outcome or the advice? There's a lack of offering. Queen of Swords is reversed. She's very much a very hard, very bitter person, bitter Betty. And lack of communication. Okay, so I guess what's happening is I think this message is for you to just know that even if you don't, this is really weird. Uh, there's two cards that talk about no communication. So maybe the advice is for you not to reach out if this is you thinking about reaching out. Or just also, they're, they're not going to reach out. Or this is, could maybe this could be somebody else. Because this is a queen of swords reversed. It's a very bitter person, very angry, bitter, cold. You know what? This could be how they see you. That's why they're afraid to come forward because they see you as very angry and very bitter, not wanting to communicate with them, not wanting to offer them anything. Well, maybe you have your walls up. That could very well be. If this person really hurts you, they might see you as this. Maybe you were this way. You were bitter. You shut them down. You were angry. That hurt. Because if somebody hurts your feelings, what's the natural response? To bring up your guard, right? Of course. That's just... But if someone doesn't understand that for whatever reason, I don't know why they wouldn't understand that, but... Um, they, 
see you as very bitter and very guarded, very angry, not wanting to give any offering. Page of Pentacles, not even a little offer. You're not even willing to do anything. And it has this person really up in their head. They're really regretful. They're stuck on it. They're ruminating. They're, they're, they're afraid to come forward because of how you may respond. So it feels like there's some forgiveness work that you could do, the collective, whoever, all of us, all of us. If you, if this resonates with you, if this resonates with you and there's been someone that you've had a really hard ending with, uh, it feels like there's a lot of, there's still energy between you. There's energy between you that uh, needs to be resolved. Hi, hi, Lynn, how are you? Um, so it's up to you, of course, but it feels like there is a there is a karmic cycle between you guys, and I really encourage you to do your forgiveness work so you can at least release the past. And I'm not saying I am not saying that you need to reconcile with this person. But I am saying that this energy of bitterness and rage or hurt or shutting people out or whatever, it's still very present in your energy. And so let's do some healing work around that right now, just right now. And just remember, this is a collective reading. If this isn't your story, then just let it go. Because really, I don't want it to be your story. It's not very cool. It's not nice. It's about, Lynn, just to kind of catch you up quickly, somebody wants to communicate about the past but it feels like they're afraid to come forward because of how they treated you first of all and how you may respond to them so they're afraid and then when other cards came out you come out the collective comes out as a queen of swords reverse which is very bitter angry no communication no offering so so there is definitely something between this relationship, whoever this is. So let's do some healing work right now. So you don't, first of all, keep creating this kind of drama and that you can both move forward and maybe even have a reconciliation conversation. So if you think you know who this is, this lifetime, past lifetimes, it doesn't matter. Any generational thing, any family feuding. I'd like to ask for all the angels of love and light to come through and I'm going to ask for everyone that this resonates with, past, present, future, side, parallel lives. If there's people in our reality that we've ever dealt with, that there's still some negative experience, wait, just like waiting in the wings between us, anybody and everybody, I'm asking that you would help us to forgive, first of all. Bring them forward if you if you know who this is. Bring them forward. And but even before that, help us to forgive everyone that ever hurt and injured and betrayed and lied, cheated, stole. Anything and everything like that. Abused. This is deep, so this is old. So tr give us grace to release them with forgiveness. Not because we condone anything they did, but just to let us be free of that energy. So we can again trust and love and be whole. And if you want to bring that person forward in your private time during meditation, have a conversation with them in your private time to make to let them let them know how their their let them know how their actions impacted you. It's okay to say that. It doesn't make you the victim. You need to be able to express yourself and say, "Hey, that sucked." When that happened, that really hurt my feelings and I trusted you and you, you betrayed me and that really impacted me in a deep way. It's okay to say that. And then just make peace with yourself, first of all, and then with them and surrender that pain and sorrow and suffering and release it to the angels, release it to whoever. We're doing a reading right now. So anyway, whatever is going on in your reality with ever, everybody, just release that with compassion and forgiveness. Because it's going to keep repeating itself until you make peace with that situation. And there's still somebody out there that is 
wanting to make peace with you. So for your highest and best and for their highest and best, I encourage you to bring them forward in your mind's eye if you can't do it physically and make peace with them and surrender it and let it go. Surrender it and let it go for your highest and best and for the highest and best of everyone. And so it is. So if you need some private work, if you need personal work, I'd be honored to work with you because um, that's my specialty is to go deep and release deep painful things that happened in the past so you can be free now because these these energies they weigh deep on our souls and our spirits so I hope this was a blessing to you and I hope that uh, you make peace with what happened make peace with the past friend so you can have a beautiful now all right, so watch the replay, Lynn, and that way you can fill, fill in the gaps. And if you want a private reading, I'm available for private readings. Private readings, they start at $30. All right, you take care now. Bye.